What was that? So do you have your phone off so it's not dinging at us? Uh, it, it'll ding through the computer no matter what. Okay. It's not through my phone. That's through the computer. Oh. And you're on. Good morning. Happy Thursday, everyone. I am super excited to be here with Mr. Owen Long. He is the president of Eagles and Needles. I mean, literally a lifetime there. <laughs> He's born and raised there. <laughs> Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. He is not very excited about being here, but we're going to make this nice and easy. <laughs> Just kidding. We actually have a lot to talk about. Um, again, born and raised in Needles. There's so much history there. Um, we have done quite a few community spotlights there. Love, love, love the town. I always talk about the fact that when I go back to sports, it goes back all the way from um, my people uh, that I went to school with, and I get to see their kids there. So it's pretty exciting. So let's talk a little bit about how long you have been in Needles and well, like how I, this all started. Like I said, I was born and raised there. Of course, I went all through school there. Um, started a railroad career there. Um, that allowed me some opportunities while I was working for the railroad to do other things than just switch cars and drive trains. Yeah. And um, in 1996, my job took me away for 14 years, and I, uh, my family, my boys, and I moved to Kansas City. He had twin boys. They were 16. And, um, and they were part of that decision. They were already in high school. I was not going to make them move. Because you know how traumatic that it's can be. It's very traumatic. And uh, I said, we have an opportunity to go. And I said, you guys, uh, I'm not going to make you. You talk about it. And they discussed it. And a couple of days later, they said, they said, um, if we go there, can we stay there? Or will, because the railroad's oh. famous for moving people yeah. around. And I said, I believe we can. But if we can't, I can always come back to Needles. And so they said, well, let's give it a try. It worked out really well for them. They thrived back there, Aww. and it was a good experience for them. Um, they went on to, both of them um, served in the military. My son, Jonathan, did 12 years in the Marines. Congratulations. My son, Matthew, did one tour in the Marines, uh, took his discharge, went to the Army, and stayed in the Army for another 18 years. Oh, my and gosh. And just, just recently retired. And, uh, well, kudos so. to you as their father, and obviously they're amazing humans. You they're, know, to give that kind of they time. They are good guys. They are good guys. Ah, yeah. wow. So that once they graduated or whatnot, you ended up moving back. Well, actually, my job moved me to um, Winslow, Arizona, and I actually lived in Flagstaff. So I lived in oh. Flagstaff for ten years. Oh gosh. And um, and um, when that job um, expired then i came back to needles i had like 10 months to work and so i came back to needles went back to work driving trains for about 10 months and retired 36 years 39 39 years <laughs> at the railroad which is uh, compared to most people that's a short career but. it's pretty wild to think <laughs> about it so needles is really built around the railroad right well it was it was found you know needles is a railroad town it was founded in 1883 by the southern pacific and the atlantic and pacific railroads and uh, which uh, um, very quickly became the Santa Fe Railroad. And that's where I started with the Santa Fe. And um, um, it was, uh, it kind of ended up there because of its geographic in those days, you know, there were no dams. So every, every spring the river would flood. They needed a place to build a railroad terminal above floodplain with enough flat ground oh, wow. that was safe. And that's how needles came to be there. It started in 1883 as a crew change point, and it still is to this day. To this every day. every train stops and gets a fresh crew there. That's pretty wild. Yep. So I had no idea. Uh, so then, eventually, Route 66 came in. Right, and and um, Needle started as a railroad town, 
but um, uh, um, after the establishment of the National Trails Highway System and the highway bridge that they built at Topak that paralleled the railroad bridge, um, that was in 1916. 1926 was the uh, foundation of Route 66, which which uh, just overlaid National Trails Highway for the most part. Wow. And, um, wow. and uh, after uh, World War II, Route 66 brought a whole new dynamic of prosperity to the city of Needles. And it became a Route 66 town. And it was amazing Brilliant, huh? how many businesses, uh, successful businesses and families and uh, that, that brought to the town. Well, and we were talking about it earlier, how how the longevity of the family unity um, that still resides there today, many, many generations. Um, again, whenever I, I talk about sports, it's always seeing the grandparents, the great grandparents, the aunts, the uncles. Um, when you go to, you know, something that's happened in sports and it's out of town, you guys are all there. It doesn't matter where it is. It doesn't matter if it's Vegas or Kingman or where. So I always think that is... To me, it's just so much heart. The community has so much heart, which I assume is kind of goes into the Eagles. And and, and, and it does. And, and the, the Needles Eagles was founded in um, 1947, so it was kind of a post-war baby. And uh, we we've, we've been uh, we've been open for 76 years. And one of the things that um, that has helped that longevity because needles has gone through many many changes yeah. and interstate 40 and um and all of the surrounding development um has caused needles to experience a downward spiral um especially business wise we have been able to weather that and one of the reasons that we can is because of something you just touched on and that's the generational appreciation we do a lot of fundraisers. Um, we have a lot of potlucks and stuff. And it's not uncommon to be in our area for a potluck on a Friday night or a Saturday. And there'll be three generations of a family. That's a common sight. Grandparents, parents, children. And we're very family it's oriented. so cool. Yep. I don't even know if sometimes you guys realize how cool that is. Probably, you know, your generation, but the younger generation on how... Um, how important that is and what that looks like and how you know different that is from most communities to have that deep deep family roots it's kind of a um, it's sort of a principle with the fraternal order of eagles nationwide mm -hmm. certainly depending on where you are you're going to adapt to to um, sort of the local demographic I do think that uh, Eagles Aries in smaller towns do experience a more family-oriented uh, business uh, style, style or visitation, and um, and we're very proud of our of our little organization. We belong to what's called District 23. So Aries are divided across the country and by the state into groups of Aries, and in our group there are 20 Aries. Wow. And uh, so we're lumped in with um, Barstow, Hesperia, San Bernardino, Fontana, Ontario, Ridgecrest, Those Banning, are big Beaumont, areas. and and so forth. And out of the twenty areas, including all of the metropolitan, like I said, San Bernardino and Fontana and all of that, we're number four in membership. In, in all of those and areas, all of those big areas. in all of those metropolitan areas, we're number four in membership. And um, the loyalty I, is is thick. Well, and I think one of the reasons is is because um, you in needles beyond the sports programs that the peoples are so involved in. Yeah. If you want to do something with your children or your family other than go to a movie, go to Laughlin or uh, something, uh, have a zoo, whatever, to see a movie or go play putt putt golf or whatever, it's a very family oriented, and it's right down the street. Right down there. Well, yep. you talk about the potlucks and yep. getting together over and over again. Uh, the fry bread cells we just heard were amazing. You know, I feel like needles just comes together. Well, fry bread's really popular. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> um, our tacos are really popular. Our chili verde is really popular. Our Jeff, we're going to have to take a... Can me we, and Jeff come and visit? We, uh, I'm ready. We make some fantastic <laughs> tri-tip. We make some fantastic chili verde. And um, 
And, and so when you're part of you, that means the whole family can come in. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, a lot of that, um, it has to do with the heritage of the community. You know, yeah. we have um, a large Native American community around Needles and they are members and participate. Very nice. And, um, and so th there's, uh, there's a diversity that, ex that exists in the uh, Needles Eagles that is... Uh, um, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's unique, but we really embrace it. We love the diversity that we have, and um, um, we are uh, we pride ourselves on providing a safe environment. If you come down here, everyone is your friend. If if you can't keep it, if you can't get along, you just keep it to yourself. Yeah, and it just and uh, have and that's here. that's a basic principle of our operation. And um, and we we truly, it's not just a soundbite. It's the way we live and operate. I love it. Oh. I love it. So you are the president. How long have you been the president? Ninety-seven years. It <laughs> feels like. <laughs> it's taken that's half funny. of your life. <laughs> I've. Uh, I, this is actually my first year as president, uh, hopefully my only. I served uh, uh, about three consecutive years as vice president, and before that, I was a trustee, and I was chairman of the trustees. And um, Which isn't jobs in themselves, I'm well, sure. Well, that's actually, that job is actually much more difficult than mine. I show up for the meetings, I bang the gavel, I ask for committee reports. But when I ask for those committee reports, it's those people doing the work. Yeah. Like this Yahoo that got me into this today, sitting over there. This is, this is, this, oh, and this is your very first, uh, t well, you consider it online interview, right? This is the first time you've ever been live like this? Uh, actually, I was approached six months ago. I did like a 10-minute some kind of podcast thing that podcast. I was literally ambushed for. <laughs> and and um, not quite as bad. I, I did have... Uh, I did have about 20 hours of notice on this, which means I'm operating here on about 15 minutes of sleep. I told him oh, it's wow. going to be fine. We're going to get through it. <laughs> yeah. um, but but other than that, yes, this is my first. Well, congratulations. This is uh, the year 2023. So you're going to get this now. Yeah. This is life. You can come see us anytime you want, too. <laughs> Yeah. Did, did I say something wrong? No, I'm excited. No. I'm glad to have you here. I know it gets a little like shocking when you're like, I'm going to be live. But <laughs> it listen, is. it's easy to talk about things you're passionate about. And and, I, I, yeah, and I am passionate about the Eagles and, and, um, and uh, the organization, uh, what we represent. You know, we are a nationwide philanthropy um, and we are, um, we're, we're kind of crazy because. I like crazy. We. Well, how many businesses do you, do you know that take everything they make and give it away? Not many. Yeah. Not many I mean, obviously, we have to hold back enough money to make to sure survive. we pay all our bills. Yeah. And then we have um, some special accounts like a building fund. You know, if the air conditioner goes out, we've got to have enough money to buy a new air conditioner and stuff yes. like that. But beyond that, we are a nonprofit, and we, take, we give away all of our money. And... Um, um, we have a saying, it's a philosophy we live by. The Eagles are people helping people. And we live that. And um, Well, supporting and shopping local, I'm sure, follows yep. suit right in there. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, having said what we did about needles, uh, since Interstate 40 went through and it, it caused an economic decline, there is a huge uh, uh, need for some... Uh, financial support to sports teams right. uh the food pantries different organizations and then uh, especially at christmas and um um hopefully on one of your talking points we're yeah, going to get to a fundraiser that so we have coming up do you want to talk about this one first or do you want to talk about this one let's talk about this one okay so jeff let's pull up the poker run yes yeah, there it is so let's talk about this it's march 4th mm -hmm. and what does it go to? Well, this actually, this is the the majority of this goes to our Christmas fund. Um, we distributed um, uh, over a thousand toys last Christmas. That's amazing. And, and um, this was part of a group of people that actually reached out to us from Barstow, and we had a member who recently passed away, uh, Tim Heidel, and he was a retired Barstow police officer. 
who had moved to Needles, retired in Needles, joined the ARI, and became passionate about um, our core principles, yeah. people helping people in, in charitable work. Yeah. Um, and um, um, as, as a nationwide organization, what you will find in the Eagles is that um, they all are dedicated to this charitable work, but it, it gets to be a little territorial. And by that, I mean, if you're in the East and you're doing beyond your local charities, they fund things like the Jimmy Durante Fund, the Max Bear Heart Fund, and, and stuff like that. In Needles, our major charity beyond local is the City of Hope. Oh. And, uh, and so we support the City of Hope. And, um, and, uh, but when it comes back beyond that, it's almost all local. And, and then I don't, and I don't mean needles. I mean, tri-state, Tri um, we, we encompass, um, all of Mojave Valley, Fort Mojave, Bullhead, if we can. Kind of and, bridge to bridge. Yeah. And, um, we try to, and, um, it becomes a coordinated effort because you don't want everybody giving the same things to, uh, a singular group of people. You right. want to make sure that, that, that you spread around the charity a little bit. Yeah. And Tim was very, very, um, uh, excited and dedicated about some of the, the charity work we did and he started this fund for um, uh, Christmas um, and toys and stuff and it included I and he it. I mean they would bring a truck full of bicycles and um, and so like I said he has since passed on and his daughter has embraced it and she's carrying on the tradition very cool as an uh, in an attempt to help um um continue that and she's done this through the eagles and um we started this last year this fundraiser and we have a very very good vice president uh named mark goldman and so it's this, the po poker run yeah and all the proceeds go back really to Lo local charities and um and pretty much just all children and uh, it's Saturday, March the 4th. We did it uh, last year, uh, and it turned out to be enormously successful. Well, I love that you touched on the fact that his daughter is now keeping this alive. Mm -hmm. I think one of the most important things that um, we can always see is when you have parents who are involved, whether it's, you know, Kiwanis, the Eagles, no matter what that kind of looks like, is that you usually have kids that follow suit. Yeah. And that, you know, those examples go for, look, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. But those examples <laughs> go forward and it starts to change, you know, your family and how things are looked at and what you start to get involved in. So that is very, very cool. Yep. Um, so the way this works, you register for this poker run and there are five stops, which have not actually been finalized at this point. But uh, it's $35 to register. Okay. Correct? Yes. And yep. do they want, if they want to donate towards towards the cause because they can't make it, how does that work? Well, just call us at the area if, if because uh, we give away prizes and um, we also use the cash to um, purchase, um, well, beyond this, I, I failed to mention, uh, also the money goes to scholarships. It's a scholarship fundraiser nice. also. And, um, but... Um, it's five stops. It starts in Needles, goes down through Topak, and it's for motorcycles and classic cars. Ooh. And uh, so it's kind of a little car show. So you don't show. need an off-roader. You can, because a lot of these poker runs are off-road vehicles. And yeah, this, this you is. You don't have that. This is all on-road vehicle, I think. I love it. And uh, so it starts in Needles, goes down through Topak, and um, comes back over to Highway 95. It makes a few stops in Bullhead City, circles up through Laughlin or around to Laughlin, ultimately ends up back in Needles. And that's where we have, we have a silent auction. We have a vocal auction, auction verbal. And we, as we gather prizes from merchants and stuff, and we auction this stuff off. And, you know, there's some neat prizes. You get like two or three nights at one of the casinos. You get dinner at one of the good steakhouses. You get a massage. I love massages. You know, and, um, and, uh, so any business that would like to donate a basket or mm -hmm. any yep, items, absolutely. please, you know, let yep. us know. You can reach out to me. I can get it. Yeah. And all the businesses, um, we are, uh, enormously dedicated to the people that support us. We do everything we can to put that out. So, um, I love the idea that, that Findlay may donate a truck for us to raffle off. They so. may. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're here. Like, just, only if we get a truck, I'm coming. <laughs> I, just, 
I just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a big truck. Colorado will do. <laughs> Listen, do we got the Hot Wheels back there, Jeff? Uh, we could get one. <laughs> so, but all kidding aside, we, we'd get a lot of support from around the community and the businesses. And um, so we go to, um, um, we don't take that lightly. You know, we're a small area in a small town trying to do work, big, big work. Yeah. And, um, and so this is a fantastic event, and the, and the kid that, that organized it and, and um, put it together and is running this. And then we have a wonderful dinner, and, and this year we're making chicken and uh, steak fajitas Ooh. with all the accessories, the beans and the so rice and So it's a full-day event of fun Yeah, it's stuff. an all-day event, yeah. yeah. And then and, um, um, DJ at the end of the day. Nice. And um, at our facility, which we didn't talk about, of course, we have our, our club room and our social room and all that but on our property, we have a huge patio. Yes. And uh, like so many other things in the area, we need to take advantage of that. It's really nice back there. Yep. And, and we need to take advantage of that from about, you know, October through May. Yeah. And, if um, not, it's too hot. Yeah. Otherwise, it's too hot. <laughs> yep. So. Ah. Oh, okay. What is this? We got a district weekend. <clears throat> this is District 23 weekend. Um on February 10th, 11th, and 12th, we are hosting a district convention. So all of the other 19 areas that, that I was talking put, about yeah. are sending representatives, or anyone can come. Well, that's to, big for to a district meet. Yeah, it is. And um, and uh, we will be hosting the California State uh, Eagles Fraternal Order of Eagles president. Well, congratulations. So the, that has the, to be a big deal. It is a big deal. So the president of the state is coming uh, to Needles, and uh, we will have a wow. dinner in his honor on Friday night or on Saturday night. And our business session is um, on uh, Sunday morning. And at the same time that the, cool. um, the uh, ARI is having its business meeting, within the Eagles organization, there is an, a separate and independent women's organization called the Eagles Auxiliary. All right. Now we're talking. <laughs> well, and here, here's the <laughs> thing kidding. about that. Uh, anyone can join the Eagles, man, woman. Um, but there is a separate organization that some women are more comfortable belonging to. Um, and I can't say as I blame, you know, they don't want to be in there with a bunch of oh, stinky guys, you know, stinky guys <laughs> scratching their armpits in a meeting and stuff like that. And, you know, and talking about things that most of them don't know anything about. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a guy. We, we, yeah. We like wine. Yeah. You guys like beer. <laughs> um, um, how did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> just a little Psychic. a little insight <laughs> <laughs> um but this is this is a big deal for needles so we have eagles coming not just from the district but because the state president's coming he has an entourage that's and very um cool. you know and, and so he has um um official photographer that travels with him and and some people he, a little bit of support staff so yeah, we're very excited about That's this. That's exciting. It well, is. and that obviously means that you guys are doing great things for them to want to come yep. out and and be present in your club. Yep. Yeah. That's, yep. Very that's cool. what we're hoping. So we're looking for a good turnout, and um, uh, we'll have a great banquet. And uh, we're going to we have like I was talking earlier our our specialties. So we're going to have a tri tip dinner for him, and um, it's good but simple. And uh, we you know we we'll serve about. Oh, 70 or 80 people at that usually wow. buy a ticket to sit down for that. And um, with a small program and and, uh, and he will speak and I will welcome him and then I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> <laughs> You're letting him do the talking. Well, that's, that's his job. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, congratulations on that. That is very cool. Um, again, get registered if you're interested. If you'd like to support it by a gift basket or donation, please get with us or Eagles. Um, we can definitely get that to them. I am you're so done. thankful. Oh, a colored one. <laughs> I'm. We'll get this out too. I'm excited. I'm thankful that you came today. I Thank always you. love to share um, needles. You know, I, I just feel like growing up in this area, you just see, like I said, a different a different space in needles so we love to support you we've done a lot of community spotlights out there um, and we'd love to come and have tacos with you at some point oh we have great tacos 
That's what I heard. Or the tri-tip. Tri-tip, too. Oh, tri-tip. Oh, yeah, tri-tip, <laughs> Jeff's too. interested in the tri-tip. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> of course. Yes. Yeah. Well, again, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for sharing some of the history of needles. Um, I am sure that this show will be very watched. We get a lot of good feedback from needles and all the amazing people there. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thanks, Ellen. We appreciate okay. you. Yes. Make sure you support the run. Thank you for showing up today. Support local, shop local, and have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.